Well, hello, beautiful people. I am putting some makeup on. So I thought I would show you how I do like my contouring and blush and stuff. Um, I already have my foundation on. And so you can use a contour or a bronzer. I'm actually mixing a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of powder um, because I just like that's kind of what's working for my skin tone right now this time of year. And I start at my forehead and I go all the way up to my like hairline. You definitely don't want to have a line like where you can where it's light right here. OK, because that's going to. Um, it'll look kind of weird and it defeats the purpose of contouring to help give your face dimension. And I do, I always feel like I have a little bit of a bigger forehead. <laughs> so when I had bangs, it wasn't a problem, but without bangs, um, it's just a little bit, it's nice to give it a little bit of shape. And this time of year, I want to still feel like I have some color to me, like kind of a sun kissed look, even though I'm not going to be out in the sun as much with baseball and football season ending, heading into basketball season and rainy and cold and dreary. So, you know, just not as much sunlight this time of year. So I do like to have a little bit of bronzer. Um, and I go, so I go to the hairline around and you'll notice I didn't put any right here. All right. So you leave that part. Then on the cheeks, you start at the top of the ear into the cheekbone and you just go about a third of the way. You don't want to go all the way here and unless depending on your face shape, but in general, the, this will kind of work on any face shape you go from the top of the ear. So see how that gave me <laughs> cheekbones, which I don't really have. So that's great. And then I do a little bit here just to give my mouth a little bit of a pout and to give my chin some dimension. Since when we put our foundation on, we have a very matte blank slate. So it just can look like a flat canvas. And then I do a little bit on the sides of my nose, depending on what you're wanting. My nose, I don't think I have a very big nose, but for some reason, I feel like in pictures and stuff, sometimes it looks big. <laughs> and I just don't want it to look flat. So I do a little bit of bronzer to help bring that shadow back. And then sometimes what I do, if I'm, I guess I'll go ahead and take the time to do it today. I don't do this every day, but I will use one of our eyeshadow blending brushes. I love this. You can get it by itself and I'll take a little bit of contour because I don't like to put a lot of bronzer on my nose because it is shimmery and I already have kind of shimmery oily skin. So I love that our contour is matte. So if you want to do what, what I just did, but do it with our contour powder, you absolutely can. Um, and so then I'll take this because I have a little bit more control over where it's going and I'll use the matte contour powder on kind of the top of the sides or the sides of the top of my nose. And I just do a little bit right there just to give it some shape and make it look a little bit more narrow. Now I'm doing this kind of dark so you can see it in the video and you can use that, do a little bit there. You can even do a little bit there just to give your face, lips some pucker. Um, then I do my highlighting with my highlighting powder. So one little trick, I've, I think I've shown you this before is you can take our cheek color brush and you can actually do both like this so that you've got the highlighter on the top can you see that? And the bronzer on the bottom. I'm going to wipe that off though, since I already did my contour with my bronzer. Don't want to totally overdo it because I am going out in public today. Um, so I'm just going to take the highlighter and I'm going to put it on the top part of the brush and I'm going to go right on the top of the cheekbone and the apple of the cheek right there. So you don't want to put it necessarily on like right under the eyes because especially as we get older and we start to have some smile lines, you don't necessarily want shimmer there, but you do want it just right on the top part of the cheekbone. And then I'll, I'll use my cheek brush to kind of blend it. So you don't necessarily see where the 
bronzer stops and the highlighter starts. I don't want to go like this. I don't want to make it one big mesh thing, but you just want to blend it. Then I, let me do a little more on this side. Cheeks. Okay. So see how that gives it just some, some dewy. You just look radiant, gives some youthful glow. Then I do the cheek color. Um, and I start at the apple of my cheek. You can also start back here. If you want your cheek color to be less noticeable, you can start back here and move forward. And this is going to bring just some color. And we do have different cheek colors for different, different skin tones. So when you're looking at blushes, not every color is for every skin tone. Um, so finding that right one for you. And I do have a chart. So maybe I'll somebody comment and remind me to post the chart that shows what cheek colors are best for ivory, beige, or bronze. And then to set all of that, before I do my, okay, so before I do my makeup, I'm just gonna smooth, this is just a clean brush there. I'm just gonna kind of smooth that out. And then I'm gonna take the translucent powder And this will help to set the look. So I love the translucent powder because I can use it year round. We do have ivory, beige, bronze, silky setting powder. that is amazing. And I do use it sometimes, but I love this translucent powder because I can put it and it just keeps everything in place. It gives your skin another layer of just having an airbrushed look. It doesn't settle in lines or make your skin look dried out. When I first put it on, it does make my skin look a little bit white. But then once it sets, and it also helps to absorb like oil and things like that. And so this makes my makeup last so much longer. Now, I haven't done my under eye corrector yet. I'm going to do that after I do my eye makeup. So I'm not putting it under my eyes here. But once I'm finished and my eye makeup remover has set and dried, I will do just a very light dusting under there. And that helps to reflect light. It helps to smooth out the skin um, and it helps to keep my eye color from or my like any mascara or anything like that going from hitting the oils on my face and getting down there. So, OK, so that's my little bit of um, contour, bronzer, cheeks, and it really only takes me like a minute, less than a minute to do all of that when I'm not sharing it with y'all. But I hope that you enjoyed that and learned something fun and new. Feel free to comment with what you learned or any questions that you have and things that you'd like for me to share in the future. Thanks. Have a blessed day.